Hello guys. So today we're gonna start the chapter number one called real numbers. We're gonna have to start this today. Okay. So the chapter real numbers it begins with the uh, introduction of Euclid's division lemma, or you can say algorithm. There's a bit of difference between lemma and algorithm. You need to understand that. See, lemma is basically any uh, theorem we use. You can use it like a theorem in a question, but algorithm is a thing which is to be used in a, a particular method. Like for HCF, you use the division algorithm. Now, now, instead of confusing you more, just let me state this. This is A equals to BQ plus R, where R is greater than equals to 0 and less than B. This is the Euclid division lemma. Okay. Now, in the Euclid's division lemma, it is stated that this R is greater than 0 and less than B. What does that exactly stand for and what is this? So, make it more simple. Let's state two general numbers 20 and 6. Okay. Now, we will try to divide 20 by 6. This might be confusing me also. So, what I have done is basically I have written in this form. So, 20 if you divide by 6, get a left. quotient of 3 and a remainder of 3. 18 and we get remainder 2 now. So that's what I'm written. 6 into 3 plus 2 equals to 20. Now this 6 we have gonna write here and 2 is we gonna have to write here. Now why are we exactly doing this? We are trying to find the HCF of these and these. Okay. Now 2 into 3 plus 0. Yeah, you can also verify that this way. 6 when divide 2 divided by 6, we get 3. Okay. So that way this number which we have always here. This number we have to take in consideration. This which I have circled right here, it is of no use. Do not try to even listen to that. So this six and two are very important right here. Therefore, this two what we have right here is the HCF. Two. Now we need to understand the fact that the HCF is simply not obtained this way. You have to like you have to do this for. For example, you have three numbers, okay. So you have to do for the first two, and then you have to find the HCF for the first two and the third one. Like if you have HCF of 26 and let's say 30, so you take 20 this way, and you get a HCF of 2. Okay. Now this 2 you have to divide by 30. As you can see, 2 is the common HCF, so HCF is indeed 2 in this case so what I'm trying to say is just don't solve this as a question solve this as in a part of a general life now, there are many questions you can find of HCF and LC and there are different kind of things okay. so instead of wasting your time let's just come to the fact that the real numbers are nothing much complicated first time you have the natural numbers then you have the whole numbers then you have the integers then you have the rational numbers, then the irrational numbers, and finally you have the real numbers. So real numbers is a set of every number you have. It is also a set of imaginary numbers which we do not have to take care of here, except for the quadratic question where you know you have to solve for the x and you will find that sometimes the equation finds in a very different form. So in the real numbers we can express it in terms of the numbers we know 1, 2, 3, 4 and till 9, 10 and infinity. You can represent it in any form. There are fractions, there are rationals, many rationals also, 2, 6, 5, everything includes right here. 1 by 4, 3 by 7, every number is in this. And in integers we have minus 1, minus 2, 1, 2, minus 6, plus 6. All numbers we have here, 1, 2, 3, 4. And so on to infinity, and the natural numbers includes one, two, three, four infinity. So these are real numbers. And in this chapter, we'll again study how you can prove that irrational numbers are exactly irrational. These R dash stands for irrational. Okay. So instead of wasting your time, let's stop this video right here.